Okay guys, why do bad things happen to good people? Well, first of all, bad things happen for three reasons. Number one, number one bad things happen to us because we are either ignorant of Satan's devices, which means sometimes we think we are on the right path and yet we are deceived. We think we are in right standing with God and yet we live in perpetual sin, disobedience and we have a crooked standard of right and wrong. Which means we can't even see where we are going. We have no discernment. And number three, we are ignorant of the fact that God is a covenant God. God cannot be unfaithful. Many people say that if God is really good, why does he allow things to happen when he has the power to stop it? And the fact is he does have the power to stop it. But the fact is that he cannot enforce his will in this earth, which means stopping evil from spreading, unless he is in covenant with a person that has a relationship with him. And that brings me to my final point. Is God is a covenant God. He is a relational God. You cannot expect things from him when you are not in right standing with him. God does listen to the prayers of the righteous and the unrighteous. But the first step that you need to take in order to get in right standing with God is when you humble yourself and you repent from your wicked ways. You Basically, you're making a 360 degree turn in your life. You cannot continue under the canopy of grace and yet continue to live as you please and then expect God just to cover up your sins. If you have open doors to Satan through your own disobedience and your own sinful living, with meaning you are continually in strife with other people, you walk in bitterness and anger and resentment and you don't want to make right with other people or you talk to people just as however you want or please. And if you have impure thoughts towards other people, then you also cannot expect God to cover you from the consequences of that. Yes, God has a restraining order against Satan to a certain degree, lest if we would see total anarchy if God didn't do so. But there's a level that we need to engage with God in relation to our standing with Him which means God needs somebody in this earth to agree with him. And that means that if you want the benefits of your salvation to be made manifest, you need to understand and come into agreement with the terms of his covenant. God only responds to covenant. So we need to come to agreement on the terms for which Jesus paid a high price for. I'm not talking about the Ten Commandments here. I'm talking about having a relationship with Him, spending time in His presence, reading the Word of God, and actually knowing Him intimately. Because if you only need, know the surface of a thing, you won't be able to withstand the wiles of the devil. And he will be able to deceive you. So it's very important to be in relationship with Jesus Christ. Lastly, what I want to say is that it is very arrogant to say that God allows evil to happen. And you people should be very careful. You must be very careful if you want to be tempted to say stuff like this. Why did God allow this to happen? Because you are essentially cutting yourself off from... God's grace in your life and you are literally ignoring your own responsibility in the covenant that God has made with you as a Christian. Many people want to deny God or become atheists because they say that all the bad things that happen in their life 
all the accidents and all the things was God's fault. No, we live in a fallen world and we must deal with the consequences of it. And God can protect us from the consequences of living in this fallen world, either through other people or through our own disobedience. We can repent of our own disobedience, but we can also pray that God protect us in this world while we are living in it. But God is not obligated to answer any prayer of you if you don't have a relationship with Him. That's why you cannot expect, this is why socialism is so wrong. Because you are expecting benefits from people that you have no relationship with. You are expecting the rich to just pay more taxes to to fund the benefits that you so freely desire, which you didn't even work for. And you want other people to compensate for your own laziness when you don't even have a relationship with those people to begin with. You're not even grateful for the things that you have at the moment, much less to say the things that you want for free. So... Just remember that relationship is key in every part of success in society and especially when it comes to God. You cannot demand things from God when you have this mindset. God gives to us freely, but we must approach Him and draw near to Him. Then He will draw near to you. I love you in the mighty name of Jesus and I hope that the light switch went on for you if you did not know this before and uh, may god bless you my friends and have a wonderful week ahead